Hello world. Today I'm going to show you how to control the Togobot tree in Gazebo simulation using Python code. The first thing we need to do is to change our directory to our workspace. I'm going to be using the Catkin workspace and I'll be creating a Python code file in my SRT folder. So as you can see, there's nothing in my, uh, no file in my SRC folder. But I have the Tilobot Tree Simulations package. So if you have not installed that, look at the previous video. You'll have the instructions of how to get it. So I'll be creating the Python code. And I'll name it control tv 3py Oops. Let's do right that. And now I have a control underscore tv 3py file. If you want to see, it's here. And if you look inside, it's empty. So what you need to do is you need to write a code that will control the total board simply using Python code. So the first thing we're going to do is import RustPy. And from the geometry and geometry.msp, we can import uh, this and what we'll be having would be a class. So we'll have a class called control db3, and we will also have the main function. So main equals. Right. So let's not get too far ahead. In this class, we will assign the init node. And in this init node, we will have the control. Output node and let's set the online numbers. Oops, I'm getting too far hit. Making it spell like that. And we will have to reverse I dot node here. All right, let's do some indentation. Okay, we have the ROS pi in it. No, we can have the ROS pi not info. We'll tell the user on um, control C is to terminate. A bot. So you want to tell the user to press Ctrl C to terminate. Next, we will have the class CMD as the publisher. And in this publisher, we will have the topic CMD now. And it will have the twist class. And the Q size M. Next, we will also have the cell dot file. Let's go to twist. It will be responsible for the Two different components, the linear and the angular. So this will be the linear. And then we'll have one for the angular. Right. Let me just copy this. Right. 
right and this this to y and this to c similarly y and this to c so this will be changing the turtlebot in the linear direction and this will be changing the turtlebot in the angular direction we won't be using the y and z similarly we won't use the x and y for this so we just set this as maybe one and this will be 0 0.5 for now what we will need to have is also the gross pi dot um, rates set this to 30 and we will have to while I, so when the Rust file is not shut down, of course, we would want it to continue to publish. So it's self CMP, let's go well. Publish. I'm going to publish to the self CMP. And we want to include a street function. Okay. Right, so <clears throat> okay, now we also need to create a shutdown. And then shut down, we will set to cell dot T and well, oh, right. Publish. This is doing nothing. So you will set all the values to zero, making the robot come to a stop. And we can also use cross by dot not info. We tell the user that the pd3. Or you can also include the most high sleep one. And because we have this shut down, we will include it here. So what's high dot on shut down so, so everything looks Good so far. Yep. Now we have to click this set cross by dot cross over. Let's set this to pass. We can also have a similar lock info here. Yes. I dot lock info. Also for is simulated. So this is the code that we will be using to control the data bot. We will save this file. It will start up here. Now you can see it's a Python code. You can use the ls. It's currently grayed out, meaning that it's not a non-executable file. If you change that, you will use the ch mod. X and control pd3 dot py. So now you can see it's an executable file. You'll have to change directory back to our workspace. We need to solve the file. And we can verify. So it's properly sourced, right? What you're going to do is you're going to launch the gazebo. Gazebo. Right, so with our code ready, we have the gazebo ready. What we're going to do is open our terminal and change this to our SRC. This is where our control to the bot um, code is in. And watch this, since we set the x as 1 uh, linearly and angularly in z-axis as 0 
previous key item. Um, control db3 by to write the file. So the robot is terminated. Oh, it's stopping. Let's see what is done wrong. You can troubleshoot with me. Okay, so in Excel, it's about here, it's true. Um, oh, this is supposed to be now. Everything looks good. We'll try again. I apologies. There we go. So the robot, the robot now is moving. And it's simply moving based on the, the predetermined parameters that we set for the robot. So it's moving um, one in the x axis and then 0 0.5 about the z axis. Now let's say we want to change the parameters, we just have to stop the turtle board. We need to open a file and say, maybe we want to have sharper turns. Um, yeah, let's just say we want to have sharper turns. We'll save the file. Then we'll run the code. So with sharper turns, I believe you will not make such a wide turn. And you can see it's kind of like drifting. So that is how we can control the TotalBot tree using uh, Python code. If you want to learn more about ROS, you can click the link below in the description. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. If you enjoy watching the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you're looking forward to more videos, do hit the subscribe button. Until then, see you in the next video.